Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Kyle and this is Kaizen DIY Gym. In this video, I am upgrading the wheels on my wall mounted pulley towers. Before we get into it, I have to say, I think wall mounted pulley towers are one of the best purchases for a home gym. They're small, inexpensive, and super versatile. I love them so much, in fact, I have two of them. I currently own the Titan Fitness version and the Bells of Steel version. I have links to these pulleys as well as all the other products in the description of this video. By purchasing from those links, you're helping to support this channel. The first tower I bought was the Titan, and I specifically bought it with the intention of making a dedicated belt squat station with it. I've been using it like this for the last nine months, and hands down, it is my favorite all-time DIY. I leave it set up, so it just takes a second to get up, strap in, and start doing belt squats. I use the Bells of Steel Mighty Grip Plates with it, and they serve as stability handles as well. It's the perfect combo. The only thing I don't love is the belt squat buddy. It works, but it's a little clumsy. I'm working on something better. Ever since I bought this tower, I've been curious to see if upgrading to aluminum pulley wheels would make any sort of difference. A few months ago, a buddy shot me an Amazon link to these pulley wheels that were on sale for $9 each. I jumped on the opportunity and bought 13 of them with the total coming to around 126 with tax and everything. They arrived with housing and straps, so I had to remove all of that before installing them. This was the most time consuming part of the process. Removing the plastic wheels and installing the aluminum wheels took about 15 minutes total. I used two crescent wrenches. I was worried that the cables would get tangled up during the process, but I swapped them out one by one so that wasn't an issue at all. On the Titan Tower, all of the pulley wheels are the same size, three and a half inches or 90 millimeters. Once that was done, I strapped in and took it for a spin. Ooh, that is smoother. Oh man. That is, it's like, I feel a difference for sure. Ooh, man, I like it. Buttery smooth and much quieter. As for this upgrade, increasing the weight capacity of the tower, it should, it probably does, but I don't really have a good way of testing that out. On the listing, it says these pulleys each have a capacity of 500 pounds. There's 13 of them, so some math whiz can figure that shit out. For me, I probably won't need to go heavier than 350 pounds on this belt squat anytime soon. Quick side note, in my original video, I said that this tower was only capable of a two to one ratio. This was wrong. There are two cables and using them individually means that they each work at a two to one ratio. But if you connect them together and use them together, it's one to one. I found this out in the comment section immediately after posting the video. Is it worth the cost to upgrade? That's tough to say. Paying full price for these pulleys would cost around $220 to $240. In that case, I personally wouldn't invest the money due to the rest of the build quality of the Titan Tower. I paid 126 bucks, so for that, I think it was worth it. If you don't wanna buy the pulleys from Amazon, you can actually get them from Bells of Steel and they sell them for $11.99 each, which brings your upgrade price to about $156. That's not too bad. The other tower I own is the Bells of Steel plate loaded cable tower. In my opinion, this is the best wall mounted pulley tower on the market. Bells also sells a weight stack version that comes with aluminum pulleys, but the price is a bit higher. For my gym, I I prefer the plate loaded version. It's better for belt squats. What I love about this tower is the upright. It has 5 8 inch holes, which means you can use rack attachments on it. The downside is that the upright measures 2.3 inches by 2.3 inches, meaning it only works with certain bells of steel attachments. They advertise it working with J-cups and spotter arms, which is awesome, but I personally like to use it with my rack attached lateral raise. A 
Another awesome thing about this tower is that Bells of Steel actually sells an aluminum pulley upgrade kit at a reasonable price. It took about 15 minutes to swap all the pulleys out. Some of the pulley housings have bolts welded on, which makes the process even easier. The end result, silky smooth, quiet, and I just love how these aluminum pulleys look. Again, is it worth the cost to upgrade? It's hard to say. It feels great, I just don't know if it's 100% necessary for everyone. It really depends on what you're gonna do with it. Are you gonna turn it into a dedicated belt squat station? Well, we can justify the cost by comparing it to the cost of a Rogue Rhino, which is like 2,200 bucks. So in that case, yes, totally worth it. Is it just gonna sit in your corner and not really get used? Well then, nah, bro, it's not worth it. Would I upgrade again? I think that I would, so if I was doing this all over again, I would just get two of the Bells of Steel towers and skip the Titan altogether. The build quality on the Bells of Steel is just, it's much better and you can feel it when you use it. And so upgrading to aluminum wheels on that one feels worth it to me. On the Titan, like if you can get a good deal on the wheels, sure. But if upgrading the wheels is gonna cost you what you paid for the tower, I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say it's worth it. I don't know, what do you think? Do you have one of these wall-mounted pulley towers? Have you upgraded the pulley wheels? Let me know what you think in the comments section. Again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.